As I read in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9, For all the eyes of the Lord roam throughout the earth, so that He may strongly support those whose heart is completely His. You have acted foolishly in this. Indeed, from now on, you will have wars. Amen.
continue to worship the Lord. Let us focus the amazing grace that God is given to us. Yes, let us pray. Let us close our eyes. Feel the presence of the Lord tonight. Thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. We welcome you. We welcome you in this place, in this place, Lord. Hallelujah. We will worship you. To you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for tonight, oh Lord, that we are here, gather once again to worship you, to glorify your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Your name is higher your name is love your name is power your name is everything thank you jesus thank you for your love we, we are here oh god nasama samang kapupurihan ka pasasalamatan ka oh jos sa yung kabutihan salamat po oh jos na nandito ka ang Panginoon. Ikaw po, Panginoon, ang manguna sa gabi ito, O Lord. Pangunahan mo po kami, Panginoon, sa aming mga gagawin, Panginoon. Fill us with your holy presence, O Lord, tonight. Fill us, O Lord, with peace, with joy, with everything, O Lord, that comes to you, Father God. Lord God, Before we come to you, we want to surrender our life to you. We want, Lord, to forgive us, O Lord, what is not pleasing to you, O Lord. Forgive us, O Lord, sa aming mga nagawang kasalanan ng Panginoon. Ito man po ay intentionally or unintentionally, Lord God. Forgive us, O Lord. Forgive us for what we have done to you, O Lord. We are humbly bowed down to you, Father God. We are humbly bowed down to you because we are nothing without you, Father God. Patawarin mo kami, O Lord. At ihanda mo kami, Panginoon. Ihanda mo, Panginoon, ang aming mga puso. Ihanda mo ang aming mga isip, O Lord. na maranasan ka namin sa gabing ito, Panginoon, na Ikaw, O Lord, ang mangunguna, O Lord, sa gabing ito, sa aming mga buhay, O Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for everything that you have done, O Lord. I know, O God, nandito ang iyong mga anak sa iyong harapan, Panginoon. You know everything, O Lord, their hearts, their mind, O Lord. Ano man po yung mga obstacles, O Lord, yung mga puso nila, O oh Lord. Alam ko, Panginoon, that you will fill us with your love, that you will fill us with joy, that you will fill us with courage, O oh Lord, with boldness, O oh Lord. Alam namin, nakasama ka namin, O oh God. We want to feel your presence tonight, O oh Lord, and we want to do the best that we can, O oh God, para mapakasama ka namin, para malanasan ka namin, O Lord. Salamat, O Diyos. Salamat sa kabutihan mo, O Lord. Salamat sa pagmamahal. Salamat sa mga biyaya, O Lord, na pinaparanas mo sa amin, O God. Salamat, O Diyos, sa simbahan na meron kami, O Lord. Salamat, O Diyos, that you are with us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I pray, O Lord, sa magdadala ng iyong mga salita, O Lord, kay Pastor Wilson, O Lord. Bless him indeed, O Lord. Alam ko, Panginoon, nagagamitin mo siya, Panginoon, O Lord. Na mga salita mo, Panginoon, ay aming ma- na maririnig, O Lord, sa kanyang mga bibig, O Lord, ay galing sa iyo, Panginoon. 
At ang mga salita mo, O Lord, ay magawa namin, O Lord. At ang mga salita mo, O Lord, na aming matatanggap sa gabi ito, O Lord. Salamat po, O Diyos, sa anumang mga bagay pa na mga plano mo para sa amin, O Lord. We surrender to you everything, O Lord. We thank you. We glorify your name. We are here, O Lord. We will sing. We will shout your name. We will praise your name. We will glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Good evening, church. Again, good evening, church. Good evening. Good evening. Two days na lang po, araw na ng mga puso. Happy advance. Happy Hearts Day po sa bawat isa. Sabihin nga po natin sa ating mga katabi, I love you with the love of the Lord. Ayan. I love you with the love of the Lord. And para sa mga single na kagaya ko, wag na po tayong malungkot. Ang mahalaga, mahal po tayo ng Lord. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Papakopart lang ba? But kidding aside, kidding aside, there's no greater love than the love of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And we already received the best kind of love. And that's when our Father God gave His only begotten Son and when Jesus offered His life to save us. Walang makakatalo, walang makakatumbas, walang makakahigit sa pagmamahal na meron ang Panginoong Isus para sa atin. Amen, Amen po ba? Amen. When Jesus gives, He's always give His best. So tonight, we will give our best worship in Him. Amen? Because He deserves it. Hallelujah! Let us worship our living God. Oh, yeah. 
Sobra-sobra ng pasasalamat ng meron tayo. Paano pa kaya sa buong taon, sa buong buwan? So, ganyan lang ba ang ating papupuri sa Panginoon? Let us give our best praise to Him! Hallelujah! He is alive and He is 
always working in our lives. There's no one like Jesus. Sa lahat ng kabutihan na ginawa niya, sa lahat ng kadakilaan sa buhay natin, walang katulad ang ating Panginoon pag nagmahal. Amen po ba? There's no, come on, let's sing it. continue to worship our God. He is our, He is the lover of our soul. Church, worship is not a response to a feeling. Worship is a response to the love of God. And we all know that love the love that is pure, the love that finds us and accepts us no matter who we are, no matter kung ano man yung past natin. He always holding us in His arms and His hand. How great the love of God. Walang makakatumbas kahit saan natin hanapin, kahit kanino. Walang katulad yung pagmamahal ng Panginoong Yesus. Hindi nagkukulang kahit na makasalanan tayo. Hindi nagkukulang kahit nagkukulang tayo. Yung pagmamahal na kahit anong nagawa natin, buong-buong ibibigay sa atin ng Panginoon. There's no one like Jesus. There's no greater God. There's no greater love than the love of God. He gave His only begotten Son to save us. Even we are not worthy. That's why let us give our best worship to Him tonight. Hallelujah, God. Oh, we bless Your name, Jesus. Oh, we want to pour our heart to You. We are here, Lord, to worship You.
Jesus, we need you in our lives, Lord. Let us continue to worship our God. This reckless love song, it's about the parable of the lost sheep in Luke 15. The shepherd has 100 sheep and one of them off and gets lost. The shepherd goes in search of the lost sheep until he finds it and celebrate it finds. The lost ship is you and me. And Jesus goes find 
and He found us. Nandito ka ngayon dahil nakita at natagpuan tayo ng Panginoong Yesus. Yung pagmamahal niya, yung humanap sa atin na kahit saan tayo tumakbo, na kahit saan tayo pumunta, hanap-hanapin niya tayo. How great the love of God. Hindi niya pinabayaan na mawala tayo. Kaya tayo nandito ngayon. Let us worship Him. Thank you, Jesus. Before I spoke a word, you were singing over me. You have been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath, you break your life to me. You have been so kind to us, God. You have been so, so kind to me.
ever ending love. Mahal mo, Panginoon, sa bawat isa sa amin. Even we are not worthy, nandoon ka, Father God, 2,000 years ago, inalay mo yung buhay mo para sa amin, para maligtas kami. You give us value, God. You give us purpose. Dati naliligaw kami, Panginoon, ng landas, pero nanatagpuan mo kami, Lord God. We know, Lord, our purpose, and that is to worship you, and that is to glorify your name. Thank you, God, kasi yung dating basa, yung dating basura, meron ang halaga, Panginoon, sa'yo. Thank you, God, sa pagmamahal mo, sa lagi mong pagkukup sa amin, Panginoon. How great is your love, how wide, how deep, hindi na namin masukat, Panginoon, yung pagmamahal na yun. Salamat, Lord God, salamat sa pagmamahal mo na lagi kaming hinahanap. Salamat sa Panginoon, sa sapat, Panginoon, sa nag-uumapaw, sa sobra-sobrang pagmamahal mo. Your love is always enough in our lives, God. You alone, Jesus, is more than enough. Your love, your grace is more than enough, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa pure na pagmamahal mo, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. Pwede ba natin kantahin ulit ng chorus? Remembering what God has done in the cross for us. Overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Always chases me down, I still like God. Leaves the 99, I couldn't earn it. I don't deserve it Still you give yourself away Oh, the overwhelming Never-ending Reckless the last love of God And oh, the overwhelming Never-ending Reckless love of God Oh, it chases me Fight till I found leaves and I think I got it. I do it early. I don't deserve it. I still you give yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to you. 
Glory to you. Jesus name. Handa na po ba tayo magbigay na ating tithes and offerings? Amen. Ah uh, bago bago po tayo magpray sa ating tithes and offerings. Ah uh, may share lang ako konti lang naman to. Ano po? Ah uh, bali kasi ah uh, sa hindi nakakaalam, ah uh, uli lang lubos na ako, 8 years na akong wala magulang. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eight years ago wala ah uh, nga eight years na akong wala mga parents tapos na na ano ko lang yun may na-receive akong blessings para sa akin malaki na yun para sa nanggaling mula sa Lord ano parang before kasi yung ano yung nilibing nun yung mama at papa ko meron meron kami sa cemetery na parang binabayaran nung every three years nung pwesto nila babayaran yun, pati yung caretaker. Tapos one time, yung undas nun, pumunta kami nun ng kuya ko sa Manila North Cemetery. Sabi ko sa kanya, sabi ko, dapat dito na lang sila mama, sa bungad lang. Sabi ko ganyan, kasi doon ano, layo-layo, tapos ang haba pa ng lalakarin, looban pa talaga. Tapos maliit lang yung pwesto nila. Apartment type lang kasi yung sa kanila. Nakakremate lang. Tapos, sabi ng kuya ko, sabi niya, mahal-mahal yun. Tapos din pa tayo mag-aan. Sabi niya, sakin doon lang kasi yun sa bungad, bagong ano lang. Tapos parang bagong tayo lang mga columbarium na pwesto. Tapos yun, naalala ko lang yun. Tapos, yun, natutuwa ako kasi nga, yun, itong January, nakabili na kami ng pwesto para sa kanila. Thank you sa Lord. <laughs> wala lang, natutuwa lang ako. Kahit wala na sila mama at sila papa. Parang, <laughs> ano ba? Huwag niyo akong <laughs> parang, wala na, parang kahit wala na sila, parang ano pa rin, na tingnan pa rin namin sila ng nararapat na para sa kanila. At least yung pwesto na yon parang lifetime na hindi na kami magbabayad every three years. May sarili na silang pwesto. Wala na kaming alalahanin na babayarin every three years. Thank you po sa... Nagpapasalamat ako sa Lord ng sobra kasi nga parang noon... Ano, imagine ko lang siya na sana may ganun silang pwesto, parang ganyan. Ngayon, meron na talaga kami sarili para sa kanila. Ngayon lang. <laughs> Let's pray po sa our tights and openings. Let's bow our head. Lord, salamat po, Panginoon, sa araw na ito, O Diyos, na muli nagkakasama-sama kami, O Panginoon, ng pangkaburihan ka, O Lord. Thank you, O God, sa sa bawat araw, O oh God, na pagsama mo sa amin sa buhay na yung kanyaloob para sa amin, O oh Diyos. Thank you, O oh God, sa mga plano mo sa buhay namin, O oh Diyos, na mas mabuti nga po pa. Mas yung plano mo, O oh God, is mas better nga po sa mga uh, pinaplano namin sa aming buhay, O oh Diyos. Muli, Lord, yung mga, itong mga aming tithes and offerings, Lord, ibinibigay namin sa iyo, O oh God. Binabalik namin sa iyo, oh Lord, yung nararapat para sa iyo, O oh Lord. God. Salamat, O oh Diyos, sa pag-ingat mo sa bawat isa sa amin sa bawat araw, O God, sa biyaya na nag-uumapaw na pinagkakalaob mo sa amin, O Lord. Salamat sa kalusugan, sa kalakasan, O Diyos, na, na patuloy mong pinagkakalaob sa bawat isa sa amin, O Lord. Lord, binabalik namin sa iyo lahat ng kapurihan. Pasasalamat, O Lord, sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and amen. Ngayon pong gabi, um, ang gagamitin po ng Panginoon ay isa po sa pinaka, masasabi ko pong mga mahinahon. <laughs> mahinahon na, na pastor. Since kasama ko po siya sa, sa bahay ng um, ilang taon na ba ako dito? Magtatatlong taon na po. Amen. So, isa po siya sa mga, ah, siya po ang head ng um, technical team. So, alam nyo na po yun kung paano po gumaganda yung ating mga bosses. 
Kung tayo po ay kumahan ta, minimix-mix po niya yan. So, uh, hindi ko na po patatagalin dahil alam ko pong excited na po ang lahat. Kinatawag ko po si Pastor Wilson and Conti Gino. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon sa po You know, I, I couldn't uh, control myself or stop myself crying while while I'm sitting there. And, you know, uh, I don't know kung, kung, kung nararamdaman natin o talagang totoo, totoong naiintindihan natin kung gano'ng tayo kamahal ng Diyos. You know? And this is my very prayer tonight. Uh, and I'm praying to the Holy Spirit that let this God really uh, be known to us in a very real way. You know? Hindi lang siya basta parang kwento ng, 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 ng isang uh, uh, makarelihiyosong pagkaunawa sa Diyos na ito. Uh, I really... Uh, believe that tonight God will will show Himself to us you know, in a very real way. Uh, I know that no one will go out from this place without experiencing the very touch of God personally in your heart. Do you believe in that? That that God can do that, you know, touching each one each one's heart. In a very real way, you know, na mamahalin mo rin siya you know, ng, ng the reckless love of God. You know, na kahit hindi talaga tayo worthy, who among us here uh, na qualified para mahalin ng isang Diyos na ito na walang pagkakautang sa tao. You know. He doesn't owe anyone but still this God recklessly love us you know? and praise god hallelujah yeah this kung medyo sinigaw kasi sabi ni Ate Lani mahina on do ito oh naman po i know this is my uh, i believe this is uh, i could say that one of my my dilemma in in preaching you know? kasi it's more prone for a someone na makatulog kapag uh, sobrang soft ng, ng boses. No? I wish I could always talk like we are no? no. ah, Hallelujah! Praise God! Alam nyo, I need to exert so much effort for, for these things to do. Kasi this is not, that is not what I am. Ano, this is me. Uh, normal sa akin yung parang uh, medyo soft lang talaga magsalita. And Uh, yun nga, as I said, ang dilemma, hindi ako na-encourage minsan sa mga listeners kasi nakakita ko. Nakakatulog. Kasi sobrang so. But anyway, tonight, uh, I pray to God that uh, this God who really loves us so much, so deeply, will touch our heart tonight. Can you say amen to that? Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's uh, start with, with the word of the Lord for tonight. And what we are talking about is about, about worship. True or false worship. Parang true or false yan actually. Is it true or false? But uh, to make the title catchy, I... I I use this title, True or Fools Worship. And we can see this clearly in, in the book of Ecclesiastes. Uh, in, in chapter 5, beginning verse 1 to 7. Uh, this is what it says in, in the book of Ecclesiastes. It says here, beginning verse 1, but uh, before we, we read, The scriptures, can I ask everyone to stand up as we always do? After we, we read the word of the Lord, uh, we are giving him uh, standing obedience and giving testimony. This is what it says. Verse 1. All together, let us, uh, let us read. Guard your steps as you go to the house of God. 
and draw near to listen rather to offer the sacrifice of fools. For they do not know, do not be hasty in one is the private worship, wherein ito yung personal mo na, na pagbibigay ng, ng kaluwalatian sa Diyos. Kaya nga, meron tayong kanya-kanyang altar. Do we have an altar to this God whom we are worshiping, this creator? Meron tayong kanya-kanyang altar na kasama. That is your private worship. I have my own private worship and you have as well. But Solomon is talking about the third P, which is the public worship. Congregational worship. This worship, this kind of worship is being done in the house of God. And I was enlightened actually. I personally enlightened by this uh, uh, by this sermon that I'm going to share with you. And I hope also it will change your perspective whenever you come to the house of God. Uh, Solomon gives the very wide no, uh, teaching about about worship in the house of God. Ibig sabihin yung panoramic. Di ba meron sa cellphone na panoramic? Ibig sabihin yung, yung lahat ng ano ay nakikita mo. Nakita mo yung complete na picture na gusto mong makita. Yun po ang ibig sabihin ng panoramic. And Solomon taught us here the complete view how we do our worship how we should do our worship in the house of God. Amen. I know that God has a reason why He allows us to have this. Meron siyang rason kung bakit all of us then for eight years we're able to to, to have this uh, house of worship. And uh, pinulfil niya yung, yung name ng, ng ang simbahan natin. Praise God for that. The name is Ebenezer. means stone of help. Kasi we are uh, able to to help other churches na ma-held yung kanilang pagsamba sa Panginoon nang hindi sila nag-aalala. Kasi kapag nasa hotel ka, talagang you are worried. Kasi may mga tao doon, may mga nag-check in, may mga lokal. And anytime, pwede kang ma-visit. Actually, yung mga nakakasabay natin sa hotel, sila nagkukwento na talagang nasi ID sila. And praise God, for eight years, we never experienced that. Because the Lord, I believe, goes with us. Paano nga natin? And sabi nung sila, 16 years na raw silang nandito sa ano, pero hindi sila nabigyan ng pagkakataon na maka-acquire ng ito. And it was orchestrated by God. Kasi, bukat ba naman si Ate Thea? No? Simpleng-simple, no? nakikitira nga lang. Ayon sa kanyang kwento, ha? nung ka lang narinig, nagkaroon pala ng time na parang naki, nakikira siya kay Pastor Amay. Ganun nga ba? Tapos biglang pinayaman ng Panginoon. Wow! Naging CEO si Kuya Janry. Eh mahal ni rin yung simbahan. Pinagamit yung lisensya. Hindi lahat po ng tao gumagawa. No? Not everyone can do that. Unless they have the heart for God. This is the panoramic view of King Solomon when he shared this uh, worship in the house of God. He is talking about the before, before coming in the house of God. Kasi sabi doon, guard your step when you go to the house of God. That is before. Then, when you enter the house of God, that is during. Wherein we are doing the actual 
worship. And and after worship, ano na? Dito, to God be the glory. Tapos paglabas mo, nakipagsuntukan ka rin sa ano. To God be the glory ka rito. Tapos nakipag-away ka dun sa nasa metro. E paano ba naman yung kilikili niya at tinatapat sa mukha mo? Nainis ka. Isipin mo, puspos na puspos ka. Tapos paglabas mo, nakipag-away ka na. What is that? That is what Solomon is talking about in the, in the scriptures that we have. Let's see. It says that before we go to the house of God, that is the meaning of guard your step as you go to the house of God. So, there must be, before going to the house of God, there must be a preparation. Alam nyo, kapag tayo pumunta sa bahay ng Panginoon, worship God unprepared. Hindi natin maririn, mamimit yung the true essence of this gathering. Yung jury. Kasi kapag ka hindi tayo handa na bago pumunta rito, alam nyo, ang hirap i-capture ng, ng, ng ating attention kapag sobrang gulong-gulo tayo nung pumunta tayo rito. Nag-worship na yun, ano, pero iba pa yung iisip mo. Kasi you, come here, you came here uh, unprepared. And by the way, habitual tardiness this time of God. Kung malate ka ng konti, ah, I'm sorry, Pastor, ah, talagang sobrang ano, not na traffic. And the next week, ay, sorry, Pastor, talagang sobrang-sobrang traffic. Eh, sumunod rin week, na week ulit. Eh, kasi. Kasi kapag ka, yung ating time, ay hindi natin isinama sa paghahanda. Walang anticipation. Kasi yun ang ibig sabihin ng guard your step. Preparation and anticipation. You, not, you need to anticipate kahit nga sa pagpunta natin. Uh, did we come? We're praying. Pumunta ba tayo dito na nag man lang ng prayer sa Panginoon? I want to meet with them today. I want to capture fire. Last week, we are talking about let the fire burn. Keep the fire burning. Eh dahil sa late ka na nga, nagmamadali ka na, pagdating mo rito, you are not in good shape to really worship God. Can you say amen to that? You know, lack of excitement makes you humble. Kapag hindi ka naman talaga excited, I'm doubt na makakarating ka ng, ng, ng talagang tamang oras. Tabi-tabi po ah. Tabi-tabi po. But have you noticed na kahit konti pa lang nag start na? Kasi gusto natin na I-mark talaga yung, yung time na kung ano yung sinabi natin na oras. Hindi talaga tayo magsisimula. Para kung ano rin yung oras na sinabi matapos, hindi na matatapos. Maganda ba yun? Tama ba yun? Uh, pleasing ba yun sa Panginoon nung tayo ay uh, dumating ng maaga? Is it pleasing to you? Alam nyo, that is part of worship. Pag may interview nga kayo, eh. are you coming in your interview on time or before time? 
Iba pag may interview kayo, talagang sarado pa yung opisina, nakapila ka na rin. I'm prepared. Nag-memorize ka na. Nauna ka pa rin sa security guard. Nandun ka na. Pero sa, sa bahay ng Panginoon, pagsasamba, dating ka ng Lord. Naiintindihan ako ng Panginoon. Naiintindihan talaga tayo ng Panginoon. But that is not the issue there. The issue there is honoring God. Alam niyo ako, kontrabida ako dun sa mga kasama ko sa bahay. Kasi ang, ang tatagal talaga nilang ano, lagi akong bumap. Alam niyo, ginagawa, sinasadya ako, bumababa na talaga ako. At kontrabida ako sa kanila, ito na naman. Kasi ako, Pagka alam kong, kasi may travel time kasi, gusto nila, oh, eh, eh, ter, eh, tang, ano eh, eh, tang usa, eh, eh, tang, ang service eh. Gusto nila, ha, si, eh, parang, parang gusto nila talagang i-maximize na, eh, eh, may travel time. And aside for the travel time, merong mga, ano dun, may mga obstacles dun, minsan matatrapi ka. Alam nyo, pagka natrapi kang isang, ano, nag, ikaw ang driver, ang hirap, stress ka talaga. Eh lalo na kung may part ka pa, eh, opening prayer ka. Subukan nung gawin yan sa inyong interview. Hindi mo yung gagawin kasi you will come before time. Absolutely, you will do that. Kasi gusto mong matanggap ka ron sa ano. But why we are doing that with our God? He is worthy of worship. Mahirap bang pumunta ng maaga? Alam nyo, we're not legalistic here. Hindi dahil pumunta tayo ng maaga, the Lord will love you more. Not because we come late, God will, will love you less. No, God, this God will love us to the max in Christ Jesus. Whether we come late or not, God, this God will still love us to the max. Dun sa ceiling, wala nang itataas pa. Whether we come late or not. But the matter here is, we, we want to come early before time because we want to honor this God. Because this God deserves to be honored. You know, I'm crying dun sa ano. Hindi ko mapigil. Sobrang, sobrang umiiyak ako dun sa ano. Overwhelming, reckless love of God. We don't deserve to be loved. But this God loves us. And now, uopera natin siya ng, ano, ng tira-tira natin. What a fool's sacrifice for this God. Yun ang sinasabi ni Solomon. Guard your step when you go to the house of God. Because that is worship. Can you say amen to that? Hindi po ako galit, nagpapaliwanag lang. But it will change our life, I believe. Because these things is a matter of life. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. God deserves to be worshipped. These things is already worship because it involves our heart. Hindi tayo makaka... Uh, we, we, we cannot... Uh, we can never comply. We can never uh, make these things right kapag ka hindi galing sa ating puso. You know? Kapag tayo po ay nag-comply dito because I just encourage you to do Don't last. Kasi sinabi ko lang, sinabi, nag-preach pastor, come early. 
If that is our motivation, it won't last. The first time, second time, we'll be here. But you know, this is a matter of the heart. And that is what pleases God. We come here because we want to honor Him. Say amen to that. We deserve to be to be honored. Sobrang 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 gracious ng God na ito. He never stop doing good. He never stop being kind to us. No? Para hindi natin siya maalaya ng 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 puso natin. Praise God, praise God, because uh, tonight we are here. Better late than ever. Wala naman yan rin na rin. Parang uh, nung nagsimula tayo, marami na rin tayo. Parang hindi yata makatotohanan sa ngayon itong aking sinasabi. Kasi, but what I'm telling you is, what I'm telling you is really, It's so good, no? It's so good to to honor this God, no? Because He deserves to be honored. Hallelujah. Preparation. Oh, dito medyo tatamaan tayo dito. To draw near to listen, rather than to offer the sacrifice of fools. To draw near to listen. Worship is not about going through the motion. Worship, yung during dito ay yung participation natin. How we participate in worship. Ito na yung ngayong nangyayari, the actual moment of worshiping God inside the house of God. Kasi yung kanina pinag-usapan natin before. Now, yung during. How we participate. Now, worship It's not just going through the motion. Ano ibig sabihin nito? Worship is not just following the instruction inside the house of God. Yung parang ginagawa natin, oh, let us all stand. Tayo. Alam na, alam na. Ah, ano na? After ng worship, offering na. You are going through the motion. Kung ano yung parang flow. Dahil sa lagi-lagi natin ginagawa ito inside the house of God, you are so familiar alam mo na kung kailan tatayo, upo. Makikinig kung kailan mag-o-offering. We know this. We can perfectly do this. Kasi, same thing happened. And worship is not like that. Not just going through the motion. It pleases God. No, it's not like that. Also, worship is not taking offerings. Huh? Nagbigyan ka na. Nakasamba talaga sila. Wow. Kilala kilala natin mga iyakin dito. Eh. Pag nag- Meron nun sa isa sa iyo. But I believe mahirap mamove ng, ng, ng emotion. Pero merong, merong gumagawa nito. And you know what the Bible tells us? Coming with fake emotion because this is coming like a hypocrite. And it says there, sa ating scripture, it is not only not right to do, but it is an evil thing to do. Yung tayo raw ay umapit sa Panginoon like a hypocrite. But rather, Worship is receiving God's revelation. Alam nyo yung emotion is just a secondary. Because when someone understand, you know, we are a notion, uh, uh, we are rational people. No? Uh, may nabasa ako sabi doon, we are a uh, creation created by the Creator kung saan 
tayo ay mga rational. We are thinking people. Tayo mga taong nag-iisip. At mahirap sambahin ang Diyos na ito na hindi nakita nang hindi mo siya totoong ikilala. Kapag ka hindi mo kilala ang Diyos na ito, yung totoong pagsamba, imposible. Yung emotion ay just a product nung ating totoong pagkakilala sa Diyos nito. God is omnipresent God. Ang Diyos ay nasa lahat ng dako. Ang totoo, hindi natin kailangan siyang i-welcome. We don't need to ask God to be here, welcoming God here, because the Bible tells us clearly that He is a, an omnipresent God. Meaning to say, siya ay nasa lahat ng dako, anytime, anywhere. He's already there. Kaya nga kapag gayong ikaw ay tinatakot ka, oh, kang pupunta dyan sa HOS ng solo. Kasi pagpunta mo rito, pag solo ka, bilin. Nanakot. It's a lies of the enemy. God is everywhere. Present everywhere. God is omnipotent. God is all-powerful. God is omniscient. He is a all-knowing God. He knows us more than we think He knows ourselves. Hindi natin kailangan parang uh, kumbinsihin ng Diyos na ito when we are praying. Kasi kinala ka niya. Even long time before your birth, this God knows us. Hindi ka pa pinapanganak, kilala ka na. Alam niya na, ah, ito ang, ang, ang taste nito, ganito, mahilig ko sa mga ganyang bagay, itong habit niya, itong sports niya. He knows everything about us. At yun ang nangyayari kapag ka naglilisen tayo. Sabi ba? Uh, binanggit doon na uh, to draw near to listen rather than to offer the sacrifice of fools. Kasi when we are listening to the, to, to, uh, the word of God, we are getting revelation. Why we need to listen? Because in listening, we are getting the very revelation of who this God is. And when He revealed Himself to us, who was He to us? Kasi pag nakikilala mo, sobrang buti ng Diyos. Kahanga-hanga ang Diyos. Sobrang mapagpatawad ang Diyos. We worship close. At hindi yun mapepeke. Emotion will come out for real. Kasi meron kang revelation from the Lord. Can you say amen to that? Alam nyo, <clears throat> when your boss called you and giving you instruction and you are not paying attention, Do you think uh, you think your boss will be pleased with you? Lalaro, opo boss, eh, yes, yes boss. Lalaro ka na nga nang abang bibigay siya instructions. Pagkaano ka yung can, candy crush mo. Uh, yes boss, yes boss. I don't think you will do that with your boss. So kids, uh, uh, na pala kids, uh, Young, young, uh, young people. When you have your own job, don't do that. Huh? When the, your boss uh, called you, uh, give instruction, you are not paying attention. But you know, we are doing that with God. While, while uh, it's allowed uh, for the baby to not paying attention. He is uh, exempted. May nagpipreach dito. Hindi no? nga lang dynamic mag-preach. Eh. Sana may boss tayo, kagaya ng boss ni Kuya Lore. 
Hallelujah. It's a gift. I pray that some some someday this golden voice will be used by God. In our church, EM Church in San Aba Kuya Lawrence, San Aba. Bicol. Praise God, dalawa na kayo sa Bicol. Hallelujah. Praise God. While while the pastor is preaching, kung ano 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 kung hindi kung ano kung ano kung ano kung ano kung ano kung ano kung wala namang kinalaman doon sa trouble eh nagkukuwentuhan lang talaga ano na rin ko kasi minsan adobo pinag-uusapan eh it doesn't to do with the technical listen to this mga kapatid i i, I wrote down these things attention to his word listen to this my brothers and sisters Attention to his word of instructions on our church. Inattention is an insult. I dare you, you will never do this with your boss. Not paying attention. But we do this so many times with our God. Hindi na nga nagpe-pay ng attention nang didisturbo pa kasi binuksan niya yung ano yung candy. Nagpe-preach yung pastor, binuksan yung candy. Wagas na wagas. Na-disturbo pa yung katabi kasi. Pengin naman pa. Groaning to God is listening. Inattention is an insult. Mga kapatid, of course, hindi naman tayo mga parang uh, robot dito na kailangan pang pagsabihan para lang because this is an issue of the heart. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, kung ang motivation ay yung dahil sinabi ni Pastor na preach lang, it won't last. It should start from this. It's very hard. Because that is a what you so called what is that word? Uh, not manner. It's a aside from attitude. Samo, samo. Spirit. No, yung sinabi mo kanina, yung tinapon ni ano yung ano, politics yun, tinapon yung kanyang ano, manner. Okay, manner. So, what's that? Kanya-kanya to, ika nga. And it pleases God. That is the most important thing. Worship is receiving God's glory. Pwedeng sobrang saya ng kantahan. Sobrang saya ng tugtugan. But if we miss this thing, we will going home, we will leave this place the same. Because she didn't get anything. You know the parable of the sower? Four kinds of soil but ang naging beneficial yung merong 
heart because it was planted in a good soil. Good heart. And it bear much fruit. Pwedeng sobrang putol na yung lalaugan mo. Tapos kasamba sa Panginoon. There is nothing wrong with that. But if you didn't receive any revelation from the Lord on, on that particular gathering moment, you will experience so much. Because it's not about music. It's about God. It's about our Creator. Amen? And this God wants to reveal Himself. Napakinggan niyo yung ating, ano, yung ating opening scriptures. The eyes of the Lord runs through and through. Yung mata raw ng Diyos ay, dito lang ako. Ang mata ng Diyos ay tumitingin sa buong daigdig. Run through and through. Naghahanap siya ng isang tao na kung saan yung kanyang puso ay sa kanya para mas strongly support niya. The eyes of the Lord run through and through to strongly support those, who, those whose heart is His. Sabi dun sa mga preceding verse niya, ah, yung preceding verse niya, uh, dahil sa hindi niyo ginawa ito, nagkaroon kayo ng kaya. Kasi ang context ng mga kapatid, yung king ng Israel, instead na mag, uh, mag-seek sa help ng Diyos, sinik niya yung help nung, nung, nung other kingdom para maprotektahan siya. Without realizing na parang insult sa, sa Diyos ito. Bakit ka umaasa dyan? I am not able, I am not capable to help you. That is the context. Kaya sabi niya, the eyes of the Lord runs through and through so that He may support strongly those heart is completely His. It's always a matter of time. As I said, uh, I don't want you to be encouraged na mag-comply Dahil sinabi, ah, I'm going to the church early, early to pay. It's a good thing to do. But not because I said. It is because it was, it was decided by your heart. Long ago. Can you give the Lord a clap of praise? Emotion is a secondary to revelation. There is nothing wrong with emotion when we are uh, worshiping God. But make sure that uh, you are really uh, being emotional in worship because God is revealing. Amen. Uh, there is a story There is this one uh, missionary. Uh, she goes in Kenya, <clears throat> and <clears throat> when uh, because she want to uh, share uh, the love of God uh, and be an, be an instrument uh, doon sa mga Kenyans and pumunta siya ron. Then when when uh, he's being there, he was uh, she was so amazed by how these Kenyans worship the Lord. They are worshiping so so uh, amazingly. You know? uh, all of them are shouting, crying. And then sabi ng Kenyan, uh, I want to join with them. How, how, how to, uh, why they are worshiping God so, ano, so, so intense. Then tinanong niya interpreter, sabi, uh, What what they are singing? Uh, which worship song they are singing? Because uh, I want to join with them. 
Sabi, sabi ng interpreter, no, no, uh, it's not a worship song. They're singing, uh, Let, let's boil the water so that there will no, no diarrhea. Yun ang content ng song. And, sabi niya, uh, pakuluin natin ang tubig para hindi magkaroon ng diarrhea kasi merong uh, parang Punta kayo nga pa. They're singing that and seemingly uh, they are uh, so being blessed how they worship the Lord. So ang ating mga emotion ay walang pinala. Kaya ka pala umiyak, binray ka pala ng boyfriend mo. Oh, wala nga akong mahanap na kagaya niya. Eh, puspos na puspos ka sa worship. It's about your boyfriend. That is not worship. That is emotion. But worship must be a primary reason why we are crying. When we sing that song, what a reckless overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Wow. How how you will contain that? Kung narap kung 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 may pinanggalingan ka na sobrang sobrang minahal ka ng Diyos nito. Kaya alam nyo, yung mga taong ang lalim ng pinaghugutan sa kanya, they will love God more. At kahit pilipitin mo ang leeg, itatwa niya yung pananampalataya niya, hindi gagawin yun. Yung, yung malalim ang pinaghugutan sa kanya ng Diyos. Yung isa kang prisoner, nakapatay ka na ng isang daang tao, and yet God still give you a chance showing himself how how still he loves you alam mo yung taong yon never niya uh, i-give up ang kanyang pagmamahal sa iyo kaya yung ano yung prostitute na di ba nahuli sa pangangalin niya but receive the very forgiveness from the Lord. How do you think uh, this prostitute woman will respond to that kind of kindness? They will love the Lord. The next one. What are you after? When you make a vow to God, do not be late in paying it. In other translation, fulfilling it. For he takes no delight in fools. Pay. Ibig sabihin, when the Lord revealed himself to you, hindi pwedeng hindi magkaroon ng, ano, ng, 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 ng palitan ng, ng ng discourse sa Panginoon. When God shows Himself to you in a personal way, hindi pwedeng hindi ka mag-promise sa Diyos na ito. And you know, when, when we say something to the Lord, do not be delayed in fulfilling it. Because kapag ka hindi natin yon tinupad, we are like a fool's. In verse 2, uh, we can see there that God is in heaven and we are on earth. Ito yung pinaka-importanting ingredients when we come to the Lord. Yung we are ignorant of who He is and what we are in Him. 
Kaya there is no chance for us to to fool this God. Para mag-pretend sa kanya. Para maging hypocrite. Because we know that this God is an awesome God. He, he, he knows everything. He is all-powerful. We can re- rely on Him. We can we can uh, depend on Him at wala siyang hindi kayang gawin for us. We can even fight for our battles. But don't forget na kung ano yung pinangako natin sa Panginoon. Ito pa rin. Alam niyo nung si si Jonah ay nag-promise sa Diyos in the temple. When Jonah promised God in the temple, he said, I will serve you. Okay, Jonah, I have an assignment for you. Go to Nineveh. And Jonah said, I hate that Ninevites. Instead of fulfilling the vows, na pinramit niya, I will serve you, Lord. He go to uh, the opposite direction, heading Tarsus. And we know the story. Nagkaroon ng storm, sumakay siya sa, sa ship, nagkaroon ng shipwreck, inapon siya sa dagat kasi siya yung, siya yung cause ng, ng, ng storm. Then, kinain siya ng, bali, ng, ng malaking isda. And you know what it what he prayed inside the because the Bible says that when he he was inside the big fish the giant fish he prayed and I believe uh, the very content of the prayer of Jonah is I will fulfill my vows and then niluwa siya pinuntili yung tasos. He preached to the Ninevites. Repentance. And kasi kapag hindi nag-repent yung Ninevites, God will uh, destroy them. When you promise to the Lord, make sure uh, we do. Because He takes that seriously. Alam niya nung, nung Let me share this thing with you. I, I admit, uh, I'm not uh, really consistent with my tithes. I admit that. And the reason is not because I don't know tithes or I don't want tithes with my tithes. The reason is because yung, my whole salary is really uh, parang pangtapal na talaga siya doon sa uh, mga expenses. Kasi uh, we are suffering with, with this bank loan. My wife ko, parang let let. So we are really suffering. And for us to be able to pay our bills, talagang the whole, my whole salary Every month. And I need to be intentional. I need to be uh, para talaga exercise yung faith. Kasi pag tinanggal ko talaga talaga ng totally may mga obligation ko sa pamilya. Yung mother ko na 90 years old na uh, being taken care of my, my nephew. Hindi rin ang support sa akin. Talagang hirap. And one time, uh, parang nagkaroon ng pagkakataon ako medyo makaluag-luag na ito ay hindi na tayo. Taisip ko. Only in my mind, I will do that. Yung bigla na namang nadiskarin, meron namang ano, kailangan ng tisyo, ng pamangkin ko talagang Then, hindi ko na naman siya nagawa. Alam niya. On that same day, nag-check sa akin, uh, you have a fine. 
same amount yung aking supposed to be tithes. And you know, God is really taking that seriously. I don't know how you in- what is your encounter with with God when when it, uh, when it comes to this, but. Uh, God is so serious with, uh, with uh, his dealings to his people. And uh, it's good to fulfill our part. When we say something to the Lord, make sure you respond. Because it, uh, God takes it seriously. I don't know. I, I'm not saying na mayroon siyang gagawin sa'yo. Uh, that is not what I'm trying to say to you. What I'm trying to say to you is uh, in his own way, uh, the way he is dealing to you, dealing with you, you will, you will see. <laughs> you will personally experience something uh, parang hindi kayang maipaliwanag minsan kung paano siya and you know, when when you are complying, my experience mo naman yung amazing ways of God in fulfilling His covenant with you. Because these things is a covenant. Sabi niya, pag ginawa mo to, sasawal ni ko ang lahat ng mga anak na sa'yo. That promise that, and God will fulfill that when we do the requirements. Are we still there? Are we listening? Are we, are we getting something from the Lord tonight? I'm not encouraging you to do any formula para sa bagay na aking narinig ngayong gabi. Trying to say is, let your heart decide to honor him. Because that is what matters. Hindi naman natin kaya ng lokohin siya. Yung parang, alam niyo kapag hindi tayo serious with this God, time will come. Time will come. I'm telling you, time will come will become serious. Alam niyo kung bakit? Kasi kapag ka ang Diyos ay uh, meron siyang ano, meron siyang uh, parang gustong gawin sa mga tao niya. We are the people of God. Do you believe in that? You belong to, to His uh, Black uh, sheep, therefore uh, we are we are his. Tayo ay sa kanya. And you know when God uh, is dealing with His people, He will use everything and anything just to get your attention. He can use your help. He can use your work. He can use your family, your spouse, your your kids. He will use everything just to get your attention. Kasi yung sinimula niya sa'yo at sa akin. And one of, one of my uh, prayers, my personal prayers, prayer with my God, Lord, may you find me serving you well until you come. Masumpungan niya tayo na, no? You know, that prayer guards me. Yung, yung prayer kong yun, gumagabay sa, sa atin kasi may mga ano tayo, may mga gusto tayong gawin, may mga dark side tayo na 
so pleasing din siyang Lord. May mga ano tayo na walang ibang pangalan. Kahit yung asawa magiging ibang. Pero alam mo yun. And that is very very bad. Hindi mo kayang sabihin yun sa iba kasi mo kakaluwa. Kaya ikaw yun. Those things are the very things na pinatouch ni Lord. Pinatouch ni Lord. Kasi yun ang parang hold you there. Until such time you surrender it. And may, may song eh. I surrender son. I surrender son. Ganun ba yun? Yung song na yun? I surrender all, di ba? Pero some lang kasi meron pang hindi ko talaga ito mabitaw-bitawan eh. Lord, ang sarap gawin ito eh. And that is what worship after. Kasi ang worship hindi dito natatapos. Anong nangyayari after ni worship mo. Kaya, the Lord is so intense in in dealing with this para maalis niya yung cold ng God niya. Doon sa area na yung Lord. Meron tayong mga kapilyuhan na tayo lang Parang wala yata kayo. No? Parang ako lang yata yung ganun. Eh. Parang, oh, parang okay na okay yata kayo. Makakaingit naman kayo. Parang wala kayo nung ganun. Yung parang tinatago na ikaw lang nakakaalam. Na kahit sa asawa mo, hindi mo masabi. Pero lahat ng tao meron. Kaya, alam nyo, nung, during the Bible times, nakakatakot pumunta sa temple kasi may mga prophet. Si David nga, tagong-tago yung kanyang ginawa eh. Nakita niya si Bathsheba. Ganda. Alam yung story, David and Bathsheba? No? Nakita niya, naliligo si Bathsheba. Tapos, nakita ni David. Eh, Sino ba yun? Sino? Ah, sabi nung kanyang ta. Ah, si Batsiba, asawa yun ni Uraya. Ah, yung soldier mo. Ginawa niya, pinatawag niya si Joab, yung general. Pakisend mo nga sa front line si Uraya. Yung purpose niya, para mat- mamatay. Kasi front liner, yun nga namamatay sa gera. Eh. Pinasend na. Ginamit niya yung kanyang ano? Wala nakakalam niya. Yung kanyang intention is so hidden. Hindi alam ni Joab kung anong intention niya, anong general niya. Pakisend mo si Joab, ah, si Uraya, dun sa front floor, front ng, ng battle. So, di namatay ngayon. So, bali na. Kasi ngayon ang naging asawa ni Bathsheba. Ito ngayon si Nathan. Uh, King David, meron akong kwento sa iyo. May isang mayamang tao na bitawin mo na ako. Mayamang tao na dami niyang sheep. Eh tapos nagkaroon ng parang bisita siya. He has these visitors. Then ang ginawa niya, pinaghanda niya yung kanyang bisita at kinuha niya yung, yung neighbor niya na isa lang yung sheep at yun ang kinatay niya at ibinigay doon sa kanyang bisita, sa guest niya. Nagalit si David. Sino yung gumawa na yan? Sabi ni Prophet Nathan, ikaw yun. 
Walang nakakaalam pero alam ng prophet. Walang sisimba kapag may prophet. No? Oh, Isyo. <laughs> Marireveal yung ating mga hidden ano? darkness sa buhay. Kawawa. Anyway, ipapatawa lang ako ng konti. Pero, sige, uh, inantok na kayo. But seriously speaking, mga kapatid, just wait. God, uh, will absolutely personally speak to you. Kung meron kang mga issues, alam nyo, God will na, will never seriously na makipag-mingle sa atin ng so real kapag tayo ay meron pang continuously uh, sin na ginagawa. Yung sobrang active pang kasalanan. Listen to this, mga kapatid. We will miss the very experience with this God na maging so real siya kapag meron pang hindi tayo nasusurrender. Yung still actively uh, na kasalanan sa ating buhay. We need to release ourselves with that. Be kind to yourself. I need to be kind to myself. So release, be, be free with that. Kasi yung, uh, as I said, yung, yung so real na pagkipag-mingle sa atin ng creator na ito, we don't deserve to experience that with this God. But because of Christ, no, we're able to, to have that privilege. Pero magsisimula yon kapag ka totally we surrender everything to this God. Then, it will close naturally. Okay? Practice. How obedient God's people after worship really matter. Paano tayo naging masunurin after nung ating ginawang pagsamba? Kanina, yun ang kung saan ay magmamatter talaga. This is the very difference between the fool and the true worshiper. In verse 7, for in many dreams and in many works, there is emptiness. Rather, fear God. What is uh, the fear of, what is fear God? Oh, yung fear of the Lord. What is that? You know, when, when, in, when, when Moses encounter God uh, in Mount Sinai, uh, with this burning bush, nakita ni Moses na yung bush ay uh, nagbo-burn siya with fire, in fire, but hindi siya nakoconsume, doesn't consume. Then gusto niyang lumapit, but, but the Lord is uh, saying to him, Moses, take off your sandals because this place is a holy ground. And the Bible says that, and Moses hid his face and fear. Ito yung fear na hindi kahit natatakot kang parusahan ng Diyos. This kind of fear is what we call deep conviction of where we are with Him. Ito yung klase ng pagkatakot na alam mo kung ano ka sa Diyos at kung sino siya. Amen? Ito yung pagkatakot sa Diyos na sinasabing alam mong ikaw ay unworthy. Therefore, kilalanin mo yung kanyang kabanalan at lumapit ka sa kanya ng makatotohanan by saying, Lord, have mercy, please forgive me. You need to learn that. Yung totoo kang nagpapakumbaba sa Diyos. Hindi yung parang sinasabi ng Lord. <laughs> parang we are so arrogant na parang dahil sa masipag ka, marami kang ginagawa sa church, you are so visible in the ministry, God is pleased with you. No? 
that is now how this God is being pleased. God is being pleased when we know how to really acknowledge God's holiness when we approach Him. Amen. Na po natin ang Panginoon. I'm already done, but uh, I want I want you to uh, just before I I I utter the prayer. Uh, let, let us sing this song. Uh, actually, the, the song is Heart of Worship. Uh, the the lyrics of the 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 song is when the, mu- the when the music. Okay, hindi kailangan minsan ang ang sobrang ganda ng tugtugan para masamba mo yung ng makatotohanan ng Diyos. Kasi yung sabi doon, when the music fails, kung wala nang tugtog, are we able still to to worship this God kahit wala nang instrument? Minsan tayo sobrang nagagandahan sa mga tugtog. There is nothing wrong kung maganda yung tugtugan o maganda yung instrument. How nice is the sound? But what really matters to God is the issue of our heart towards Him. When the music fails, and all slip away, wala nang, wala, alisan ka ng tugtog. Let us all stand and for the last time, this time, can can you sing this song? I know that you you heard this song so many times. It's not about the song, but it's about God. I encourage you na let, let us not be a, a hypocrite now in coming to Him. It doesn't please God. Actually, what? What this God wants from us tonight is just you and me as individual. Doesn't matter if you are old or young. Doesn't matter kung you. I know uh, they understand as well what uh, we have learned tonight. It's it's about our heart with this God. And God is so interested uh, in that small heart inside of you. Let's sing this, this song. Uh, na parang hindi kagaya nung kung paano natin sinakin, siya kinakanta. Same as what, uh, uh, how, how we sang this song. You know the song, you know the song, by the way, do you know the song? When the music plays, kahit wala nang mga music, just simply come. Let us bless the Lord's heart tonight. I will not. I will not ask you to raise your hand, but do something as your heart decided to do tonight. Just worship your God. Honor him. Oh, it's not about anyone, Lord, but it's all about you. Sing with your God. Sing with your heart. Don't 
miss this time mingling with your God. To forgive us all about you. for all the foolishness, all Lord. You, Thank you so much, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for being such a good father to us. Thank you for your kindness, your goodness, your love, your mercy. Thank you, Lord God, for accepting us, for being what we are, Lord. Hindi mo hinintay na maging mabuti kaming tao para mahalin mo. Hindi mo hinintay, O Diyos, na... Lapitan ka namin, Panginoon, kundi ikaw ang lumapit sa amin. You gave your son, Lord, for us to be worthy, God, coming back to you. Lord, pagpalain mo ang munting gawang ito. Tukupin mo, Panginoon, sa ngalan ni Jesus, ang bawat isang Anak mo, O Diyos, na niloob mong makarating dito, Lord, for a reason. Niloob mo, O Diyos, na sila po ay makapagtagumpay, Panginoon, nang sabihin nila sa kanilang sarili, sasambahin kita ngayong gabi ito. Sa araw na ito, pupunta kami sa iyong tahanan. Lord, we thank you for that because you gave, you gave us such grace, Lord, for us to be able to Come to your house and to listen to your word, Lord. And tonight, God, I pray 
Let this word, Lord, that comes from you remain in our heart, Lord. And be so, Lord, in a kind of heart that is good, Lord. And give us the grace, Lord God, to keep this in our heart. And, and, and for us to be able, Lord God, to really worship you for real, Lord, in your house. And this worship, Lord God, will go through. lives, Lord God, for the rest of our lives. Until you come, God, may you find each and every one of us here, Lord, serving you, loving you, Lord God, honoring you. Until you come, Lord, masumpungan mo ang mga anak mo na nagmamahal sa'yo, naglilingkod sa'yo, Panginoon, at at kukugay sa iyo. Salamat po sa iyong pagsama. Inupuri ka namin sa gabing ito, Lord God. We just give you, Lord God, all the honor, all the love, and the thanksgiving you deserve from, people, from your people. And thank you so much, Lord God, for loving us too. Recklessly loving us, Lord God, your people. Oh, hallelujah. We give you glory and honor and thanksgiving. And this is what we pray, Lord God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. And let the people of God will say and shout. as we can. Ang walang hanggang biyaya ng mapapangyarihang Ama sa Langit. Kapuspusan pag-ibig ng Panginoon Jesus. Ang walang hanggang na pagsama ng Espiritu Santo suma ating lahat. Baunin natin ngayon at magpakailanman at ang bawat isa ay magsabi ng Amen! 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 Hallelujah! Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat!